Hello. Just quick two. I got two quick disclaimers here before we get started. First off, we are going to have differing opinions. It's just going to happen. We're humans. If not, then we're going to we're going to look like those uh, those empty people from Fairly Odd Parents. There would just be no creativity here. Yes. We're, we're going to have differing opinions, and that's okay, everybody. It's mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. But if you don't like it, well, then get over it, you crybabies. Seriously. Get mm -hmm. a life. Yeah. Like, go to a park. Go yep. to go to a museum. Go, just do something. Like, don't, don't cry over our differing opinions, please. Now, yeah. I have a new disclaimer for this show. Uh, disclaimer, there's going to be possible strong language because the stuff we're about to read might have strong language in it. <clears throat> yes. Which most of the time it does. Sometimes it doesn't. And there is possible themes in our fan fictions. Yeah. So, you know what? It's just going to happen. And you don't like it? Well, then fuck off. <laughs> exactly. Now, with that being said, hello, everybody. Welcome to Splash Talk, the show that nobody wanted to watch. Except I brought it back just so that you can watch it. Mm -hmm. um, today we are going to be reading fan fiction today, and not just any fan fiction. It's not. It's not the Flash and Supergirl fan fiction. No, 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 no. Oh, thank God. It's not even Arrowverse fan fiction. No, 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 yes. no, 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 no. Wait, 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 Austin. Can I quickly ask a question? What <clears throat> is it? Ninjago fan fiction. False. Oh. Black Bear. Oh, dear God. Then I know what type of fan fiction this is. Is it Hermione and Harry Potter fan fiction? False. Harry and Hermione fan fiction. Today, we are reading Harry Potter and Hermione Granger fan fiction, ladies and gentlemen. And if you don't know it, it it's basically from the Harry Potter uh, world of books. And Harry Potter is something near and dear to my heart. And Hermione should have gotten together with Harry. Why didn't you do it? Why didn't you do it, J.K. Rowling? I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. But anyway, I think today we are going to alleviate my anger. I'm going to alleviate my frustration with that uh, today with just this uh, with this fanfic with some fan fiction today. And of course, like always, the first hour is dedicated to fan fiction, with the last hour being dedicated to you guys in the chat because that's how I roll. Because I love you all a lot. Now, don't take it too seriously. I'm still upset about that Avatar thing. I really am, chat. You know, if I wasn't disappointed, you know, chat, I'm disappointed. I am still am, but, you know, I'll, I'll let it go. But before we begin, Ninjoid, where can they find you at? All right, you guys can personally find me on my own YouTube channel, Ninjoid243, where we will be having Galactic Chat tomorrow night, in which that will be very interesting. We will be reviewing the season finale of... Um, of the Mandalorian, so stay tuned to that as well as we're also going to be uh, honoring all the films that came out during December tomorrow, such as Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rogue One, and The Rise of Skywalker. You guys can also find me on Twitter at Ninjoy243, where my messages, you can message me there, as well as Discord, um, join um, Storm Nation, Storm Nation, and um, yeah, that's really it. Very nice. Uh, I have a YouTube <laughs> channel, the channel you're watching right now, guys. I am one subscriber away. One subscriber away from 100. This would be the second time I ever hit 100, so let's try and get to 100. I do gaming streams throughout the week. I might do I might do a late-night God of War stream. Who knows? You know, I'm, I'm, like, a, I'm like a book. No, nobody knows what's going to happen. It's just like a yeah. little... It's like, for me, it's like cliffhangers over cliffhangers, you, you know. And also, I got three shows per week. I do uh, Shadow Eye on Sundays, where this coming Sunday, we're going to be reviewing The Office Season 3. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, usually on Thursdays at 2.30, we do Splash Talk. And Fridays, we do a wrestling show called Good Old Wrestling, where I just talk wrestling for an hour or two. It's going to be interesting tomorrow. 
And also I got Twitter at the Austin Air 17. So if you ever want to message me there, just just look me up at Austin Air 17. And I got Discord too at the Austinator. So what are you all waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Also, I got everybody's channels in the description. So go subscribe to them as well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this show on the road. Oh, you you all have been anticipating it. I've been anticipating it. Let's let Splash Talk is back, ladies and gentlemen. It is back. It is fully functional, yes. and why not start today with some comedy? Because again, our my channel is all about the comedy. We we all love my channel. It's just some fantastic stuff. Um, today we will be reading Troll Troll in the Dungeon. Now, <laughs> now if you all don't know what that means, uh, in Harry Potter the Sorcerer's Stone, there is a dungeon uh, scene. Uh, where yeah. Hermione's in the bathroom and then a troll shows up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what if, what if this took a different turn? Oh, dear God. But not in the way you think. Is this going to be interesting? So let's read the description, shall we? It always, <laughs> troll, troll in the dungeon. It always bugged me that Harry, as an abused kid, accepted the way Ron spoke up and to Hermione. What if Harry had stood up to Ron? <laughs> How would the troll incident have gone? This is how it should probably have been written if J.K. Rowling had not been so intent on the O-B-H-W-F trope. Oh, poof. Trope. Oh, boof. Trope. There, there we go. Enjoy. Warning for some strong language, hence the M rating, and for fairly heavy Ron bashing. <coughs> this is going to be interesting. It's uh, it's gonna be so. Which characters do you want to be? Because I'm gonna be Harry, and I'll be. You know what? I'll be Hermione. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> now there's also Snape, Filtwick. There's also McGonagall. I'll, I'll also be Snape. Snape, I'll be. Then I'll be I'll be Ron, the other professors, and then I'll be Neville as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, chapter one, also the only chapter, just in case you were looking for others. How to win against <laughs> trolls and influence morons. Harry had studied hard for the month after he'd gotten his supplies and books in Diagon Alley with Hagrid on his birthday. Since he wouldn't have to answer to his dratted aunt and uncle about his marks, and wouldn't have Dudley to hold him back, so to say. He wanted to do the best he could, which was a lot better than his marks had shown in his primary school. There, he had done the work and always got it right when he later checked to save results against the corrections on the poorly done work he turned in. It kept him from being from getting beatings and days in the cupboard with no food. In other words, it kept the pig in a wig's parents happy and off his case. <clears throat> well, for that at least, they would never be more than relatives to him. And he wasn't too sure he'd even admit to that when he was finally able to be shot of the whole lot of them. So it was that when he started Hogwarts classes, he was doing quite as well as anyone in the first year for the first couple of weeks. This surprised him, of course, having been under the impression that those who grew up with magic, like Ron Weasley, for instance, would have been miles ahead, but they were not. In fact, Ron didn't, even, didn't seem to even want to do homework, something which rather bothered Harry. After the first couple of weeks, he gave in to the constant winging in interruptions by the red-headed slack. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, red-headed slacker. It's R-E-A-D. It should be R-E-D. But that's just the first grammar mistake, so I'll let it pass. <laughs> and went along with his new friend's lackadaisical ways. I don't even know what that even spells. However, he soon began to see that he'd not learn what he wanted to learn. <laughs> that he would never keep up with some, like the Granger girl who seemed to study all the time. He was all for having time off or playing about in that. But new studying was just as important, if not more so. Ron didn't seem to see it that way at all. In fact, it was as if he didn't want to work for anything nor felt he needed to. In truth, the other boy's attitude bothered Harry, which led to a bit of a row between them on the day before Halloween with a little dash. Uh, as soon as they returned to the Gryffindor common room from the last class of the day, at around mid-afternoon in this case, Harry told on, I'm going to some of the homework we've been putting off. After nearly six weeks of this, he was sick of always procrastinating the week's work and having to stay in the castle on weekends or up late the night before something was due so as to finish it. To Harry, the other boy sounded a lot like Dudley when he 
practically winged. Oh, come on, Harry. We got all weekend to do that stuff. Let's let's us go and explore those grounds some more. Mwah. It was always <laughs> this way with Ron, and Harry had enough of it. The messy-haired boy looked earnestly at his first and only friend his age so far. I told him, Ron, we need to get this work done. I don't want to spend all weekend in the castle doing homework again. I came here to learn to be a wizard, not to play all the time. It was the first time Harry had stood up for himself in several years. Since he was a toddler, he was sure, and it felt good. Continuing, he added, I'm going to get some stuff and go to the library. You coming? We have three essays to write due next week, and I don't want to be messing about trying to come up with something to write at the last minute as usual. Damn, this he's uh, he snapped at him. Yeah. Going on with his winging as Harry led the way up to their door, the redhead sounded as if he was actually pouting. Ah, oh, come on, Harry. You know I hate the library. Too quiet in there. And people don't do nothing but look at books. There, that's not the way to spend our time off. As they reached their beds, he brightened and added, Come on, I got my Chris chess set. And to teach you more about how to play wizard's chess. Harry was retrieving parchment, quills, ink, some class notes, and set books from the small study desk, which doubled as a nightstand by his bed. No, thanks, Ron. I really want to keep up in classes. You don't want that Granger girl to be the only one to have all the answers all the time, do you? What? The slacker extraordinaire exclaimed. <laughs> the know-it-all who don't, who don't got no friends and will probably never have one, he scoffed. You gotta be kidding. You want to be like her? You want to stick your hand up and wave it around like you're trying to catch flies? He put his hand in the air, standing on his tiptoes in a grossly overdone imitation of the girl's actions in class. Harry stopped gathering his things and looked over his shoulder at the other boy with a scowl. Ron, it is not nice to make fun of people just because they are different from you. His tone was low and held a hint of the anger he was beginning to feel as he turned to face the other. If there was one thing the dark-haired boy cannot stand, it was bullying in any way. This sounds like a advertisement for like a bullying campaign. I'm telling you. This sounds like a bullying campaign thing. Oh, I hate bullying. Yeah, th this is a great advertisement already. He was beginning to feel as he turned to face the other. If there was one thing the dark-haired boy could not stand, it was bullying in any way, shape, or form. And anyone who behaved as Weasley was just then smacked at being a bully in his mind. What? The other boy cried again. Merlin's balls, Harry. The bushy-haired buck-tooth bookworms of right pain in the arse in class acted like she knows more than everybody else. I can't stand people what show off how much they know or how much more they study. Now, if she was the youngest Quidditch player in a century or so, like you, I'd be interested. But a know-it-all in our classes, what's the use in that? I don't care about that stuff. I just want to learn what they make me learn, and that's good enough. Why study that like that? Would make me better at Quidditch? I don't think so. He folded his skinny arms over his skinny chest and assumed a pose of that put paid to the subject. Harry watched with his mouth slightly hanging open as his purported friend spewed just about the dumbest tirade in history. In fact, he, was, he once more sounded eerily like Dudley. Blinking several times, he tried to rid himself of the image of his obese cousin's rotund visage overlaying that of his very thin doormate the boy he'd begun to get close to. It was clear their friendship was unlikely to continue if this was going to be Ron's attitude all the time. After dispelling that disturbing image, while the other boy still stood in that silly, some same silly pose, Harry finally asked in credulous, credulously, Ron, do you think that you can spend seven years here, maybe pass your owls and newts, and get a job after without studying? Do you think that you don't need to know anything at all to be a Quidditch player? other than all the team and player stats for the last 200 years. Don't you know how competitive it is for spots on professional sports teams? Good grades could sometimes make the difference of whether you get a, get the job or not. That he was right in assuming. That was exactly what the other boy thought was, unfortunately, borne out, the idiot, borne out by the idiot's next statement. Oh boy, I can't wait for this one. Harry, mate, of course I need to know other stuff. I need to know how to ride a broom better than most. I'll have the Quidditch rules and maybe how to summon something like a butterbeer when I want one. What the hell What the hell else would I need to know? Besides, Percy said we don't learn the summon charm till fourth year, scoffing with a snort. He added, and that's bullshit about grades. All you gotta be is 
the best. He gave the same constipated look. Dudley got one trying to think through something difficult. Then brightened again and looked smug. Side, since we got the know-it-all in our house, shouldn't be too hard to get her to help us with stuff. She ain't got no friends. So I bet she'd fall all, she'd fall all over herself to help anyone who acts friendly to her. This at least proved the boy had a had a few fairly intelligent brain cells, but damn few in Harry's estimation. But then there are many kinds of intelligence Harry knew. Good <laughs> God. This is, this is this is bad. This is bad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, he's here. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Sour Kraus. Oh my god, we have a good Hermione now. Oh crap, now he left. Okay. Oh, he's back. Yes, we have Hermione now. Guys, because I'm terrible with female voices, we need the god tier guy of female voices. Am I right, guys? Yes. Okay, Ryan's here. Welcome, he's Sour. Hermione. Hello. Welcome to Splash Talk. Yeah. Now, Ninja, can you be can you be Ron? Okay, yeah, sure. Let me see. All right, where are we at? All right, I think we're at uh. <clears throat> let's see. No, we lost our place. <laughs> Damn. <sighs> All right, I think I think I know it. Still, the green-eyed one gapped at the red-headed fool for at least a full minute. Hey, Jay. Hey, Emma. Hey, Barney. Yeah. Still, the green-eyed one gapped at the red-headed fool for at least a full minute. Then he finally shook his head, turned his back, grabbed his stuff, and stormed out of the dorm before he said or did anything to get himself in trouble with Professor McGonagall. It had been a close-run thing for the last few moments that he'd faced the worthless clod, as well the lazy moron's lazy way of speaking was giving him a headache, and he was sure he'd lost a few IQ points just being near the idiot. Good God. This is about an anti-bullying campaign. What? This is turning into a bullying campaign. <laughs> yeah, it's not anti-bullying. It's actual bullying, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's bullying. Bullying. <laughs> uh, they were leaving charms the next day when things came to an unfortunate head. In class, Harry was paired with Seamus and Hermione with Ron. Who the dark-haired wizard would have definitely preferred that he was the one working with a cute young genius. Ooh, she was nice most of the time, and Harry didn't have the aversion to girls his doormates had. She had gotten the levitation charm almost right away, with Harry only shortly behind her. But then she'd spent the remainder the remainder of the class period alternating between practicing the charm and trying to learn and trying to help Ron learn it. He seemed to completely disregard anything and everything she told him, making snide comments back. He then kept going on the way he had been. Consequentially, the redhead did not learn the levitation charm that day. Harry wondered if he ever would. Spoiler alert, he does not learn it. That was not the end of it, though, as they left the classroom. Harry was following the loudmouth lout who had, who had to go and spout off more of his stupid bullying crap, and it lit Harry's fuse, and it was a quite short, if slow, burning one. The idiot said, <clears throat> I swear, oh. she's... Who should the idiot be? It's Ron. Yeah, it's Ron, right? Yeah. I swear, she's got to be the most annoy annoying bird in the school. He then imitated how she tried to help him, intentionally making it sound very unflattering. But then he capped it by adding, She's a nightmare. Honestly, ain't no wonder she don't got no friends. Oh my god, that's brutal. <laughs> this Damn. Is I feel bad for Hermione. Jesus. Immediately, Harry felt someone brush past him and take a wide path around Ron and his cronies. At least that is how the raven-haired wizard was starting to think of Seamus and Dean, since both had laughed at Ron's antics. But the person who breezed past was the subject of the red-headed menace's bullying comments, and the glimpse Harry got of her face showed she was in tears. The fuse had run out. Grabbing the red-headed moron by the back of his robe <laughs> of Harry and says Harry Potter literally threw Rod face first into the wall next to them. He then <laughs> grabbed the front of those same robes, spun the larger boy about, and held him in place while angrily hissing in his face. <laughs> oh man. 
Oh God. <laughs> All right, this is this is pretty funny so far. Weasley, I told you yesterday that you were being a bully with, with the things you were saying. And to, to say them again in front of her is unforgivable to me. But then I'm not the one who ran off crying now, am I? It has been said that some fools never learn. Ron proved he fit that category by yelling back. What's with you, Potter? Taint. <clears throat> Taint as if you ain't never said nothing about her sides. She's just a girl and no and one, one. who is a right pain in the hairs. So why should I give a shitty right. what a shite what she thinks or does? Girls ain't worth shite and you know it so why should i be fussed if she so went off what okay if no. I, if she went off to boohoo in the girl's slew oh my that... god <laughs> damn ron what the hell good lord Sad to say, but the entire class was still in the hallway, and even and every girl from both houses heard what he'd said. It would mo it would likely be well after he got out of Hogwarts before the boy ever got a date, if even then at this rate. Damn, he's gonna get rejected by everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. That had to be the stupidest thing Harry ever heard, and he had heard some doozies from Dudley. He, in he inwardly smirked as he realized how girls were never going to like the dimwit. From the looks on the faces of the few girls he could presently see, the moron, ha, get it, the <laughs> moron, was totally blacklisted by the girls in at least two houses. The it's like God tier. Get it? Great joke. Mo get it? Moron. Get it? Moron. Get it? Hey, Moron, come over here. Do you get it? Do you get it? It's because his name is Ron. No, never mind. Okay. The green eyed <laughs> wizard was too angry to be amused just then, though, and growled, Weasley. Or it's like, oh, I'm sorry, growled, Ugh! Weasley, you have to be the dumbest sod of the entire school, brother. You make Crab and Goyle look smart when you spout off that bullshite. You really <laughs> boxed it up this time. I wanted to be friends with you before, but now you can, but now you can take your bullying crap and say your prayers and eat your vitamins and your envy and your lazy arse out of my sight and keep away from me. I ever hear you picking on someone again like that, and well, let's just say you will not like the results. As for comments I might have made about Hermione, it was more in jest or out of mild frustration when she was being a bit pushy. I never said a single thing to put her down like you have done numerous times, and I never would. If, I, if it wouldn't have made me a hypocrite, I'd start calling you moron, but that would make me almost as bad as you. And, w and what you gonna do, brother, when Harry Mania runs wild on you? He then apparently used a burst of accidental or at least wandless magic and threw the lanky redheaded dick about five meters down the hall. When the boy landed in a heap, turning to the other two dickheads from his dorm, Harry com commanded, Pick up that pile of shite and keep it away from me for the rest of the day, brother. He just turned into Hulk Hogan. Brother, 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 brother. <laughs> Oddly, the two other boys looked frightened of their smaller classmate, who didn't know his Oh, sorry, quotes. Who didn't know his eyes were glowing and that he had a slight shimmering gold aura about him. They took off at a nearly dead run and quickly picked the moron up the floor where he laid stunned but unhurt and hustled him off, the, off down the corridor and around the corner to the main hallway. After the trio disappeared from sight, Neville, of all people, came up beside Harry and laid a hand on his shoulder. Sour, would you like to be Neville? Ryan, wakey, wakey. What? Would you, you like to be, be Neville? I can come in. Okay, he will try at least. All right, but you're still Hermione. Remember that. <laughs> uh, it starts here, huh, Harry. The boy stuttered. 
R Ryan. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> oh Did he seriously just disappear? Probably because you yoo hooed him out of existence. Oh, yes, yes, I did. But guess what? He still needs to be Hermione. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. he He's the best at female voices. When it... Would anybody like to read Neville's voice? You know what? I would be so kindly to. Okay. I guess. Okay. Let's see. Huh, Harry? The boy stuttered. Um, are you okay now? Uh, this is, stu this is still you. Oh, sorry. The Okay. You were, you know, kind of, um, gl glooming just then. Glooming just then. I think, yeah, I think you mean glowing. Oh, glowing, sorry. <laughs> no, glooming. glooming. It's, it's glooming, guys. It's glooming. We glooming. all know it's glooming. Good lord. Shot. Harry's already waning anger was instantly re replaced with confusion. Glowing, he asked somewhat timidly. Several of their classmates nodded, all of them looking somewhat awed still, though he noticed that at least none of them looked scared. Neville also nodded and told them. Yeah, mate, you had this weird golden aura-like thing come around you, and your eyes were... Glowing green when you got so angry at the Burke. I still can't believe he said all that crap about Hermione. She's never been anything but nice and helpful to anyone. Sure, she's a bit pushy at times and studying and stuff like that. Like, you know, nerds. But she sure didn't deserve that rubbish. The peanut gallery nodded along with Neville as he spoke and voiced their agreement. <laughs> Meanwhile, the peanut gallery. <laughs> My God. <laughs> what kind of peanuts? Uh, the uh, Mr. Peanut? <laughs> no, no. Are, are they dollar store peanuts? Yeah, I don't know what peanut gallery. Oh, wait. Mm. Sno Where's Snoopy then? Are you telling me Snoopy is confirmed with um, Harry Potter? I mean, oh that, that that's a good point. Oh, my God. It's, it's a connected universe. Snoopy is with Hermione and Harry now. And moron. Moron. My God. <laughs> that's so creative, moron. right? I bet Moron is best friends with uh, Charlie Brown. Maybe because Charlie Brown is indeed a moron. Yep. Their their team name would be the Morons. Yep. <laughs> All right. Damn. All right. <laughs> let's, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Harry got lost in thought for a moment about the aura or whatever it was, but then his mind cleared and he decided to think about that later. He turned to the other students asking, Could all of you please keep the going thing to yourselves for now, brother? Everyone nodded uh, as they all knew the carnage trio. Boys who left wouldn't say a word, being cowards and all. Then asked, Pavardi and Lavender, brother, would you two go out and see if you can help Hermione and give her some vitamins? Or at least find her and make sure she's all right, brother. The pair nodded and headed off with Susan Bones and Hannah Abbott following and saying they'd help. Several other girl girls joined the search a moment later. I just made Harry into Hulk Hogan. I'm not <laughs> yes, you did. Brother, brother. Brother, 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 brother. Brother, okay. brother, brother. <laughs> Harry didn't see Hermione the rest of the day, though he kept an eye out for her. He didn't think she'd ever miss a class before, though she did skivvy off to that afternoon. It wasn't until the feast that he was able to ask any of the girls whether they'd found her. Lavender told him, Sue and Hannah found her just a few minutes later, as it turned out. She looked angrily at the moron. 
down the table <laughs> away as everyone's talking animatedly with his two new friends. Following her line of sight, Harry noted the bloody get didn't even seem to have a care in the world. Little did he know that the moniker he'd coined for the other boy earlier would stick for many years to come. And even and even though he himself tried to never use it aloud, many others did. Anyway, she continued, she continued after a moment. She was in the girls' room on the third floor by the Chimes Corridor, still crying and refused to come out. We went to see how she was after classes this afternoon, and she was still crying a bit. Lavender then added, while again glaring at the moron. She still refused to come out. And if she still has to come out by the time the feast ends, I guess we should go tell Professor McGonagall. Harry thanked the girls and moved off a, c a couple places to sit with Neville, who looked at him questioningly. He told the other boy what the girls had said. Neville nodded sagely, remarking that going to McGonagall was probably the best thing to do. The two boys spoke little for the next few minutes, each thinking about the girl whose feelings were so badly hurt that she'd sat crying in a bathroom stall for several hours. Harry realized he knew exactly how Hermione felt and determined he'd do anything to help her not feel that way. It really hurt. A few minutes later, the headmaster rose for his opening comments to start the feast. Harry noted that noted the eccentric old mage was wearing absolutely horrid orange robes with bats and jack-o'-lanterns dancing about on them. The young <laughs> wizard thought he looked ridiculous. Fortunately, the oldster kept his remarks short, and soon the tables were filled with all manner of tempting dishes. It was just as Harry finished spooning some yummy-looking yams onto his plate. Mm, yummy, yummy yams. <laughs> and before he got a, or before he got a bite of anything, that Professor Quirrell, Quirrell staggeringly ran into the hall, looking terrified. He screamed, out, "Troll! Troll in the dungeons!" Y'all then muttered <laughs> as he started to sway in place. Lots you ought to know to complete the performance. The second worst teacher Harry had ever had then fainted in what had to be the worst acting job the youngster had ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> the young man considered his potions professor to be the to be the worst professor ever, but not by much over the stuttering mess. Why did I just make Professor Quirrell Arnold Schwarzenegger? I don't know. <laughs> You know what? For the next professor, for Professor Philwick, it's going to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's that's his voice. Okay, you know what? I like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yes. Just just do that. Yep, that, that's it. I, just pretend that didn't happen, everybody. Shh. Shh, be quiet. I didn't. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Falsely, yes, fainting, falsely, falsely fainting faculty aside, nearly everyone started yelling in fright, and it took the aged headmaster several loud bangs from his wand to get the students to quiet down. Finally, getting everyone's attention, the barmy old coot directed the prefects to take everyone to their dormitories and the staff to follow him to the dungeons. Harry thought this was exceedingly stupid, given that the Slytherins were housed in the dungeons and he'd heard the Hufflepuffs were in a basement near the kitchens, but far be it for no... An 11 year old neophyte wizard to tell an ancient fossil of a wizard that what he should do. Besides, the youngster had a more pressing thought on his mind how to get to Hermione and warn her about the troll. You know, if Dumbledore actually had a, a line in this, his sounding would be more oh, like, take, take the, take the youngsters, take, take them to the, take them to the dungeons. <laughs> yeah. He had that old man voice. Take them. Take him. How to get Hermione to warn her about the troll. The prefects quickly rounded up all the Gryffindors, though Harry with Neville beside him managed to hang around toward the back of the pack. The moron and company weren't far ahead and seeming and seemed to be <laughs> laughing about the situation. Neville, <laughs> looked, <laughs> Neville looked sideways at the green-eyed one and said softly, Hermione? Harry nodded once quickly, and both their faces were then set in a very determined look. It only made sense to the raven-haired wizard to follow along the, with the rest. Even if they were moving a lot slower than he'd have liked, the crowds never moved quickly unless totally panicked, and the prefects were keeping that under control for now. Harry decided to wait until they got to the third floor, then sneak off to the Charms Corridor and get Hermione out of that bathroom somehow, even if he had to carry her. I mean, Harry, you don't have the strength. Yeah. You're not going to be able to carry <laughs> her. Harry, you're weak. Stop. Just stop trying. Stop being a tryhard, okay? Stop being a simp. Looking over at Neville, he held up three fingers, softly whispering, Charms. 
his compatriot gave a nod of understanding. It amazed Harry how much he and the other boys seemed to have clicked since the altercation earlier with the moron, and he was wondering <laughs> why he befriended the red-headed dick. Rather than this quiet, unassuming boy, he was starting to like Neville a lot, and also started to think that they may have a lot more in common than he'd first thought. That, of course, was a subject for a later exploration. Ooh, bestie, bestie, best friends. <laughs> You know me, I love bestie, 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 best friends. That's some great stuff. It seemed to take forever before they reached the third floor, but as soon as Harry and Neville did so, they started to drop back from the rest of their housemates. It was made easier by there being no prefect bringing up the rear. Harry thought that's stupid, since the teachers always went last during fire drills at his muggle school. However, since he gave the two first years the opportunity they needed, they took advantage of it to slip off. Just as they got clear of the crowd, the black-haired boy had an idea, which raised his ire once more. The idiot should help, as far as he was concerned, touching Neville on the arm so he'd wait. Harry ran over to snatch hold of the back of the moron's robes. Once again, he didn't notice, but there was a golden aura around him as he bodily propelled the larger boy toward Neville. Oddly, the redhead had not made a sound, though his mouth seemed to be moving as he wanted to be squawking up a storm. It would seem Harry... It would seem Harry had inadvertently cast a silencing charm on his former friend, though he'd no idea how it had happened and didn't care at the moment. He had no way of knowing, but he'd also added a notice-me-not charm to the three of them. Neville led the way with a glowing Harry still impelling the idiot right behind. As they got near the charms corridor, they were hit with a stench reminiscent of overflowing cesspools, three-day-old roadkill in summer, and large piles of rotting garbage with a side of dung bomb thrown in for good measure. All three gagged a little, though the moron had to do so silently and looked to be turning rather green. Not that Harry gave a rat's arse about how the idiot felt. Something then occurred to the angry wizard, and he pulled a dimwit to a stop, hissing at Neville to stop also breathing through their mouths, which didn't really help at all. The two boys drew together for a hurriedly whispered conversation. Neville, Harry asked, do you think that might be the troll? Ron was nodding emphatically, although again, neither of the others paid him any mind. Thinking for a moment, the pudgy young wizard answered. <clears throat> yeah, Harry, probably is. I've heard they smell really pu putrid. <clears throat> putrid? Putrid, sorry. Uh, didn't know it was this bad, though. Hang on, give me a quick second. Uh, you know, I can read also, if right. you want me to. Yeah, you can <clears throat> read for a little bit. Okay. He was turning slightly green as well, but he gestured towards Harry and said, You're glowing again. Does that mean you're rather ticked? At this turn, then, he smirked slightly at his wick wickism, wickism, whatever. Uh, first chuckling, the smaller boy then snarled at the redhead and said, Yeah, but I think tick ticked hard, hardly gets the point across, since it was moron that caused this cocked up mess in the first place i wasn't about to let him miss out on the fun the unwilling ally's face turned white and his jaw started flapping again as if he was trying to protest or make more fleeble excuses harry wasn't sure which and as he then said didn't care You know, I feel like Harry is, like, committing crimes. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> is this GTA? Like, are we going GTA with this? Are we... Are we? Is Harry really going to commit these atrocities? Like, he kidnapped somebody. Let, let's just... Let, let's all think about this here for a second. <laughs> Harry kidnapped somebody to, to fight a troll, and he snuck away... So he might be looking at 10, 15 years in prison, you know, or, you know, in Azkaban where he uh, will more than likely get his soul sucked by the Dementors because he is a devil child. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Where did we stop again? <laughs> After peaking. I think, uh... Hang on, let me see. I think it... I think we're at after peaking. No, I think it's after another moment's thought. After an oh yeah, after another's thought. Moment's another thought. Another moment's thought. The <clears throat> glowing, angry young wizard said more calmly. Okay, let's go carefully and try not to run into the thing, since the bathroom. Bathrooms are just around that next corner. Neville, stay with us so we're all together. Best not to get. So oh wait, oh, sorry. Okay, let's go. Let's go carefully, brothers, and try not to run into the thing. Since the bathrooms are just around that next corner, Neville, stay with us so we're all together, brother. Best not to get separated if we can't help it. I think, brother. <laughs> Neville nodded, as did Moron, and I'll the get three it set off. Yeah, don't you get it, Moron? <clears throat> the ladder still being propelled, of course. They reached the <clears throat> intersection of the main hall and the short one of the bathrooms were in which connected to the charms cor cor corridor <clears throat> where Neville stopped and held up a hand, which brought Harry to a halt as well. Moron! <clears throat> Moron, not needing any encouragement or direction, nearly tipped over as he came to a sudden stop. After uh, peeking quickly. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. You can. I'm after losing my voice, so. You know. After peeking quickly around the corner, the pudgy boy then whispered to the others. <clears throat> I think this is you. Uh, wait, after peeking quickly. Oh, yeah. Don't see it right now, but it might be in one of the classrooms or something. You sound like a pirate. I don't care. <laughs> My voice is dead. Seriously. Harry indicated they should cautiously proceed, and just as they rounded the corner, there was a crash and a piercing scream from the girls' bathroom just down and across from them, giving up all pretense of stealth. <laughs> Harry charged forward, holding the moron suspended off the floor with his hand, though he didn't know what he was doing. So, uh, using moron to push open what was left of the door, Harry charged into the bathroom to see the creature swinging its huge club about, destroying the stalls and plumbing fixtures, seemingly with abandon. Frozen, Hermione was frozen, curled up in a ball under a sink in one corner, screaming every time the troll swung its club, which seemed to send the greenish gray feeded monstrosity went into a confused frenzy. In an attempt to distract it, the still glowing wi young wizard let go of the moron and started hurling bits of debris at it. The troll, not the moron, as did Neville. The latter's thrown rubble didn't seem to be doing much, but Harry's was definitely getting the thing's attention since what he threw seemed to hit a lot harder. The other boy wondered just what it was Harry was doing and how his magic was helping him in this, which seemed to be the only answer. Yeah. Problem was, the troll then turned its attention from her, her from Hermione and wrecking the room to the two boys who were really were unprepared for that and had absolutely no idea what to do next. On impulse, though, Harry ran around behind it, which Neville was still throwing things as hard as he could. The former then basically ran up the back of the 12-foot behemoth, pulled himself up with hands and feet, the last few feet on the scaly, wrinkled hide, and latched it onto its neck. That definitely got the creature's attention, and it, and it dropped its club in favor of trying to reach whatever was hanging onto it by the neck. For his part, the tiny, by comparison, glowing wizard didn't really know what to do next, but he looked over to see Hermione still curl, curled up in a ball in the corner, and he yelled, Neville, run! Get Hermione out of here, brother! <laughs> the first-named boy started trying to work his way around the behemoth while Harry clung onto its neck still and kept swinging back and forth to avoid it grabbing him in an odd moment of clarity. He saw that the moron still by the doors, inching backward with a look of incredible terror and loathing on his face. He appeared to be horrified by the troll, and at the same time thinking he was well beneath his standing as a wizard. Harry instantly realized that his ex-friend was no different than Malfoy, just with slightly different prejudices. It did not in any way endear the red-headed dick to him, not in the least. 
shaken out of those momentary thoughts, the boy clinging to the giant maldurous thing decided that enough was enough. He was getting nowhere this way and could see as the troll spun back and forth that Neville was now blocked from pulling Hermione out of the room, even though he had reached her with all the daring do of the swash bucklers of old. This is a pirate flick. You, for, wait, what, what is going on? a pirate flick. <laughs> Guess it, my voice was correct for it. <laughs> is this pirates? <laughs> it seems like it. <laughs> Good. Harry managed to get one hand up to the greasy knot of hair on top of the troll's head and use that grip to pull himself up so he was kneeling on its shoulders and straddling its neck. He then reached around and jammed his wand up the smelly thing's nose while thinking he wished the bloody damn thing would just disappear. While still hanging on to the top knot and his wand for dear life, Harry was trying to think of a spell to cast, though he only really knew a few. Again, he strongly wished for the real-life monster to disappear. Suddenly, there was an odd, whitish flash of light out of the troll's nostrils and ears. The creature slowly came to a halt in its attempts to dislodge the wizard on its shoulders. It was as if the thing's body took a few moments to catch up on to the fact there was a problem with its head. It stood there teetering briefly, then pitched forward, its head breaking off the last sink and jamming Harry's wand even farther up its nose. Needless <laughs> to say, when that much incapacitated troll hit the floor, it was with a loud, booming crash, which cracked most of the here heretofore da undamaged floor and wall tiles, few as there were, and seemed to shake the whole wing of the castle. As it was falling, Harry had the good sense to jump clear and rolled away from it coming to a stop right next to Neville and Hermione. He shot to his feet, standing in front of the other two in case the troll got up again, And it was, but it was clear the thing wasn't moving at all. Besides, there appeared to be a large gash on its head with some blood oozing out, so Harry figured it was at least knocked out. The young wizard just stood and stared at the creature. He couldn't believe that he'd managed to bring it down somehow. In point of fact, he hadn't the faintest notion how that had happened. Neville, on the other hand, moved moved up beside him and stared at the apparently dead troll, then at Harry, then back at the troll, and at Harry several times. He seemed quite perplexed, if quite relieved. Finally, he haltingly asked, How... How did... Um... How did you do that, Harry? The, uh, the other young wizard stood there in awe of what he'd done moments before, and eventually shrugged and replied, Don't know Neville, brother! Haven't a clue what happened, brother! <laughs> Coming back to himself again, Harry turned to see how Hermione was doing. She was still sitting on the floor, although no longer huddled in on herself as she had been. She as well was staring intermittently at Harry and at the troll back and, back and forth. She finally locked her gaze on his, tears still in her eyes. He reached out his hand for hers and helped the terrified young witch get shakily to her feet. She looked deeply into his eyes for a moment, then wrapped herself around him like an octopus, as if, as if she'd never let go ever. She kept whispering in his ear, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, that just sounds like a dying troll. <laughs> Good god. Over and over, and he could still feel she was still shaking. Harry at first stiffened when the frightened girl glomped onto him in the first hug he could ever remember receiving. Slowly, though, he relaxed into it and wrapped his arms around her in turn. He decided right then and there that he liked hugs, especially Hermione Granger hugs. You only hugged her once. You only hugged her once. You're, you're gonna like the first time. Harry, stop. Stop. Harry, how dare Think about her, please. No. Hang on a how minute. How dare he? How dare he? You only, you only hugged her once. How can you especially like Hermione Granger hugs? For all we know, Hermione never hugged anybody. Why, why are you just like, oh, I, Hermione Granger hugs are always the best. You only hugged her once. <laughs> exactly. Good you God. You hugged times, so I would see why, but. It was once. Okay, was I gotta once. calm down. You know, <laughs> this is not the worst. This is not the worst fan fiction I've ever read. So you know, I'll let it pass. After she'd calmed down somewhat a couple minutes later, which while still wrapped around him, she asked in a low voice. <clears throat> okay, where are we again? Uh, we're here. And you say, why were you glowing like that, Harry? Okay. Why were you glowing like that, Harry? Oh my god, my ears are bleeding. <laughs> I, I have earbuds and my ears are bleeding. Like, I, now I can just barely hear anything. 
chuckling in reply Why because always like that, Harry. Oh God, it's like nails on a chalkboard. Why chuckling in reply. You glowing like that, Harry. Oh God. All right, chuckling in reply because it was so like her to start asking questions to attempt to learn all about what happened. As soon as things settled, Harry shrugged again, looking over at Neville. Harry said, "I'm not sure how or why that happened, brother. Second time today, in fact." The other was when I took more onto task for insulting you like that after Charm's brother. The still shaking girl pulled her head back to look at him then and asked in an incredulous voice. You, you actually took up for me? <laughs> oh my god. You really truly gave him a, a, bo a bullock, bullocking because of what he said? <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Looking at her so sincerely, <laughs> he told her honestly, I hate bullies, Hermione. Oh, well, now it's back to an anti-bullying campaign. I hate bullies, <laughs> Hermione. My cousin and his gang of friends used to pick up, pick on me all the time. Even at home, the pig in the wig was always getting me in trouble with his parents, Why my aunt and uncle. He's not, he's not his brother. He's his cousin. No, but, um, okay, whatever. Or so they claim, anyway. I can't stand to be picked on, but I really hate even more to see others bullied. I can promise you, no one will give you that kind of grief in my hearing ever again. There was a fire in his eyes that melted the lonely girl's heart. Neither of them had an inkling at the time, but he just largely sealed his fate with the girl. He would be hers, unless he totally screwed the pooch somewhere down the line. In parentheses, which never happened to be clear. See, that's a nice guy, you know? What... Harry's such a cool guy, like, come on, let, let's all give him a round of applause. He's such, he's so kind. Yes, a round of applause for that, guys. All right, keep clapping. No, that's enough. Okay, sure, whatever, Austin. Are you trying, do you want me to continue talking like this? Because not, I can. Not at the moment, please, God. I see your old self. <laughs> I just put him in the jello, ladies and gentlemen. Wanna 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 try that again? No. No. Okay. All hail Jar Jar. All hail Jar Jar. Actually, hang on, I'm gonna change that real quick. Okay. Here, you can continue reading. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Okay, you were actually... okay, where are we? Do do do. Uh <clears throat> I think we're at meanwhile. Okay. Meanwhile, meanwhile at the hey. Legion of Doom. No, I'm just <clears throat> Meanwhile, Neville had decided that de desertion was the better part of Valor or something like that matter and stepped away as his new friends had their intimate chat. Yes, chat. It suddenly dawned on him that he now had a good friend in Harry and likely in Hermione as well. The thought felt very, very, very good to the boy who'd been alone, lonely for a long, I meant for for as long as he could recall, when the three talked the next day, he discovered that Harry and Hermione had both been very isolated. Is oh my god, um, isolate. <clears throat> sorry, my bad. Isolated. Uh, most of their lives as well. It was a revelation for the three lonesome souls, and the start of a long, as a um, lifelong friendship. You know what? that that was not bad. However, I think I can outdo you on that. You know what? No. Yes, I think I can. However, the pungy uh -huh. long bottom. Cyan was at the moment attempting to tug Harry's wand out of the troll's almighty huge boogie-ish nose. He was still amazed that they had survived and that there were so many boogers all over his wand. Let alone that the other boy had somehow managed to bring the beast down. 
after tugging harder and harder and harder, that's what she said, finally with both hands. That's what she said. First of all, that's my joke. Secondly, sir, that that's your now that's your narrator voice. I don't care. I can do the narrator voice better than you. Okay. All right, where All right, where where did you leave off? <clears throat> okay, so I left off. Do do do. Boo, boo, boo. Okay. Boo, boo, boo. Harder and harder, finally with both hands. The one eventually popped free. Uh, let me see here. Oh, popped free of his imp- popped free of its imprisonment in the troll bogey land. Poor Neville nearly fell on his backside when it did. Writing himself, he looked at the gray glue-like sludge on it and promptly wiped said crud on the filthy loincloth. The creature wore. He was fairly sure Harry wouldn't want to keep that substance for a souvenir. He also made a mental note to remind his new friend to thoroughly clean said wand as soon as possible. Because I'm trying to do the fish narrative <coughs> voice of SpongeBob. Yeah. yeah, I know. At that moment, a slight noise at the doorway caught Neville's attention, and he saw a messy red head of hair ease around the shattered door followed by the upper half of a very freckled face with a pair of blue eyes. Moron had gotten up enough balls to come back in and now that the fight was over. Neville, too, had seen the coward's odd look earlier and then seen the worthless sack of shite back back out into the hallway while Harry was risking his life to stop the troll. Oh, (coughs) I gotta stop doing that. It hurts. It seemed the silencing charm or whatever Harry had done earlier had worn off finally because Moron asked his voice shaky. Is is, it it, it, Why was his oh yeah uh, (laughs) Neville told him in a contemptuous tone? I think so. Oh he glared just think so. Why is he so manly? I don't care. He's just no, I don't care. With, and with a healthy dollop of loathing. The idiot just let all that roll off as he then stepped into the room and announced, Well, that's... Oh my god, they forgot the T and that's... How dare you? That's well, maybe it's his good. accent. Oh yeah, that's good. In it, sure glad we got it. For, for it could hurt somebody. Neville was flabbergasted at the audacity of the damn fool, cowardly prick. and didn't know what to say. At the sound of shuffling feet behind him, he turned to see that Harry and Hermione had finished their little tete-a-tete. And tete-a-tete. <laughs> what? What the heck? Tete-a-tete. Okay. Wouldn't it be? I don't know. I don't know. That, okay. It, uh, I don't know. And turn to see what was going on now. He noticed with a barely suppressed grin that they were standing very close together with an arm around each other and the opposite hands clasped in front of them. They made a cute couple, he decided. Then it occurred to him that he would not want to be the next person to insult Hermione in front of Harry. Shy as he was, the young wizard was, in fact, glad that apparently Harry and he were now friends. He'd certainly hate to be thought of as an enemy of the boy who glowed. That moniker almost made him snicker. Snicker, 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 bloody delicious. Get it? Because yes. Snickers, you know, yes. the, the candy bar. Snickers. Like, I'm a boomer. I'm sorry. I have to explain stuff. But he managed, <laughs> but he managed to keep, in, keep it inside and promised it himself to never tell Harry he thought that. Unfortunately, other kids who'd seen the effect had the same thought, and as those things go, became well-known and often used among the Hagi Warty students. I have never heard Hagi Warty. <laughs> Hagi Warty students. At that moment, Harry was glaring intensely at the red-head twat, who was standing proudly next to the troll like a conquering hero. Once again, said twat, seeming totally obvious to the im- You mean oblivious? Okay, fine. Obli- oh my god. 
oh, sorry guys, can't even speak today. Oblivious to Oblivious. The, uh, okay. Do you just say Oblivious. Okay. okay. To the impending or at least potential danger. Neville decided that, as far as male Weasleys were concerned, the brains ran low when the twins were made, and there wasn't enough left for the sixth male. He really hoped that the last Weasley child, a girl, was smarter than her, than her youngest brother. Man, th this has just turned to an absolute Ron hate fest. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good God. Okay. Hurrying footsteps could now be heard in the corridor, and it was only a moment before Professor McGonagall, the cranky, bitchy woman, came storming into the bathroom, wandering out and seemingly looking for a fight. What she saw made her come to a screeching halt, draw a hissing breath, because she also turns into a cat, ladies and gentlemen, and place her hand over her heart or her paw. We don't know. Maybe she can transform into a, her hand into a paw. I don't know. Uh, right behind her was Professor Fenwick, who... Fenwick? Fit, Phil Wick, sorry, Flitwick, um, who had largely the same reaction, and behind him were Professor Snape and Coral. The latter took one look at the troll and leaned back against the wall at, at gent. Oh my God! Um, to the doorway, sliding down to his bum, and he looked like he'd faint again. Snape just sneered. As sneered? Sneered. Did you just say, hold on a minute. Where did you get sneered from that? <laughs> I said sneered. You said, no, you did not. You said sneered. I heard you. The chat heard you. <laughs> I know the chat heard me. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. I never heard that word before. Never seen sneered. it. Sneered. Oh yes. my god. Sneered. Yes, and guess what? That's gonna be a huge joke now for every single splash talk. No, it's not even gonna be a joke. I'm just gonna flat out to say snurred. <laughs> this is the same guy who said snurred. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I said snurred. 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 I I can't believe it. Snurred. Good god. Harry was unimpressed with the piss poor acting of the Git Snurd. I, I can't even. I can't believe it. Snurd. I've never heard that before. I snurd. 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 Yes, snurd. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the new word of the day. Snurd. Oh yeah. Well, what, what does it mean? Snurd. Yo, what? Let me actually look up if there's even a word. If 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 there is, I'm going to snap. <laughs> oh my god, there's a meeting! <laughs> no. The art of sniffing ladies' bike. Oh. Bike oh. seats in warm, hot weather. So, it's basic. So, it means. Sm what? <laughs> it means sniffing ladies' bike seats, basically. But why bike seats? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just here. You know what? Let me actually quickly share my screen. Bike? What? what? Why is that a thing? What? Okay. What? You no. see it. The art of sniffing ladies' bike seats. <laughs> no, that's not real. No way. No. Snurred. Oh, wait, Heather says that's Urban Dictionary, not a valid definition. So, therefore, realistically, that doesn't make any sense. So, therefore, Nindroid, you are false. It doesn't mean anything, and you just messed up. I don't care. Snurred. I always S mess up. Snurred. <laughs> snurred. I can't but snurred. S snurred. 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 
Oh my god, hang on. Snerd! Ladies and gentlemen, it is Snerd. <laughs> yes, my name is now Snerd. How are, how are you today, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Snerd. For the rest of Splash Talk's existence, you will your name will forever be Snerd. Because okay. you will you never live I'm with all death. for that. I'm all for that, Austin. I am, ladies and gentlemen, Snerd. You are you will forever be called Snerd on this show from now on for that simple that that I I Snerd. I'm I'm still baffled. How did you get Snerd from Sneered? I don't know. <laughs> Never could ask that. Snerd. No Snerd. Nitro, you can define it. Is that even the way I, is that even the way I spell it? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, what? Snerd name meaning historically was to oh, I'm sorry, I'm reading the definition. Oh, from the urban dictionary? No, this is actually Ancestry.com, so it's... Oh, well, then that doesn't work either. So it's um, a surnames as um, involved as a way to sort people into groups. That's what snerd mean. <laughs> snerd. I, no, seriously, I'm looking it up. It says that that's the number one thing now that I... I just quickly just looked up snerd name, and it's that basically. It just it says that clearly on Ancestry.com, even though I know that's not really that valid. But still, snerd guys. Yeah, my name is Snerd. I'm I'm Mr. Smarty Pants, guys. I'm Snerd. Yeah, coming from the guy who said Snerd. You know what? Shut up. <laughs> I'm the smart ass here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I thought I earned that a long time ago. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely, you did. All right, let's continue, Snerd. Harry was unimpressed with that piss poor acting of the get, as were Neville wait, and Hermione. Is an hour. Oh, shit, wait. Yeah, it's an hour and six. Oh, do you want to keep going or? Uh, well, no, I, I really wanted to talk about me being now known as Snerd. Okay, fine. We'll talk about you, Snerd. Snerd. Why, yeah. why, did, you, why did you want to be called Snerd? Uh, because I'm Snerd now. Snerd. All right. My name is Snerd, okay? <laughs> yep, that, that, sounds, that profile picture looks about right. <laughs> My name is Snerd. Snerd. I can't believe this. Snerd. I I still don't understand. Snerd. 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 I'm still trying to figure out how did you get snerd from sneered. I'm still trying to figure this out. I don't know. There was no U R. It was two E's. Two E's. It it was it was two yeah, E's. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Okay. All uh, hell, Kratos. Yes, exactly. All hail Kratos, because God of War is God. Or now should I say Kratos? <laughs> hey, you put respect on his name. <laughs> Kratos. Guys, it's now Kratos, not Kratos. You know, Kratos... No, my name is Snerd! Alright, Snerd doesn't go to the Jello. Snerd, you're about to go in the jello for disrespecting Kratos. Okay, fine. Fine, Kratos! He just went in the jello. We do not disrespect them. We do not respect our. No, we just don't. We, we do not. We do not go that far here. You know, there are things I will tolerate, but we do not disrespect Kratos here. You want to know why we don't disrespect Kratos? Why, Kratos? You want to know what he did? Okay. He killed all the Greek gods by himself. Hmm. Interesting. Kratos. You know, I'm going to keep doing this. You put respect on his name. Nah. Kratos. 
And I would just like to point out that Kratos would defeat everybody in Star Wars. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Greek gods are more powerful than anybody in Star Wars. Even Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. You know what? I I can see why. Seriously. <laughs> if Kratos can beat the king of all gods, Zeus, I'm pretty sure he'd have no problems dealing with Darth Vader. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and then we see Darth Vader win. And also, Kratos can't die because he's a god. Yeah. Yeah. And the only way he can die is if a god kills him. Mm -hmm. So therefore, Vader would stand no chance. Yep. Because even with the white saber, he would just wait. He Kratos would just show up and kill him. Maybe the Wills would deal with him. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Now he Superman. <laughs> Kratos would just would destroy Superman. What about Wonder Woman? Uh, that that would be a tough one because technically Wonder Woman is no, and no Kratos would win. <laughs> How about Shazam? No, uh, I'm pretty sure Kratos would win that too. Mm, Black Adam. Kratos. All right, we're just gonna keep on naming people. Um, how about Baby Yoda? <laughs> oh, Kratos would just kick would just kick him like a football. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. You really think a man of Kratos' stature would even lose to Baby okay, guys, Yoda? Snurd. Snurd. My Snurd. Name is Snurd. I, I'm, yeah, I'm just known as Snurd, ladies and gentlemen. A Batman, yeah, you know what? He would die in seconds. From Kratos. Yeah. Or should I say Kratos? Come on. Kratos. First, you know what? Hang on a minute. Uh, you, we're really going to go there? Yes, Kratos. Hold on a minute. Look at your stupid Kratos picture. I would just like to, to inform you here. You know, when you're looking at Kratos. Kratos. The real name is Kratos. That is not his name. His name is Kratos. Hold on, let me look. Let me find right, a good picture. It's of almost him. like critters, but it's critters. No. I don't know anymore. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> critters. Hang on. Let, let, look at him. He's look. I want everybody to look at him. This is the definition of a manly man. Okay. Look at how buff critters. he is. Look! Look how big his beard is. Look! Look how bald he is. Like, look, look at him. He is the definition of my man's man. Okay, he I mean, would. He's not a man. He's a god. He's the godliest of gods. He's the only god left in Greek mythology, technically, in that universe. Because mm. everyone's dead. Mm. You want not? You want to know why? Why? You want to know who killed them all? The Jello. No, Kratos did. You want to know why? Because he's the manly man. Oh, I think I killed them all. Because my name is Snurd. First of all, the thing that would kill them with Snurd is the word itself, because they would be confused. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's why I am the most powerful being in the in the history of time and the universe. And now I am known as Mr. Snurd. Uh, Sean says Batman. Would Batman defeat Kratos? No, I, I already said that. He would die instantly. Yeah, he would not. Like, he, Batman was training would maybe keep him alive for a little bit, but Kratos is Kratos. Like, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts. Dwight, on the other hand... I feel like that would be a very tough contest because Dwight is very resourceful. Yes. Yes, indeed. I mean, yes, indeed. Kratos versus Dwight. I feel like Kratos would still win, but Dwight would put a hell of a fight. Yes, yes, I would. Mr. Shrew, I have a few questions for you. 
Oh, yeah, sure. You can ask away. All right. First of all, Mr. Shrew, um, what are your thoughts? So your beet farm. What yeah. do you think of the beet farm? Oh, it's very well done. After all, it it was, you know, I, I'm going to be honest with you. It's, it's very good because here's the thing. I technically proposed to my uh, now my wife, to be mm -hmm. honest there, uh, when she was actually thinking that she was going to get proposed to Andy. And did she accept? Oh, uh, not then, but then she later on came to it, yeah. In season nine, which is garbage. Besides, Wait, the, last, uh, besides the last two episodes. But weren't you in season nine, though, Dwight? Oh, yes, 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 I was. But it wasn't good when uh, Michael was not there, because Michael is the best boss. But you became boss at the end, Dwight. I so know, I, I know, right? But here's the thing. Sometimes I think I should not became boss. After all, I did fire a pistol. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was by accident. Least. Yeah. Yeah, by accident, at least. You know. Uh, Mr. Shrew, what is your relationship with Andy Bernard? Oh, Andy Bernard? I uh, used to... I'm going to be honest. We used to be very competitive with each other. After all... Uh, he had a relationship, and uh, basically, my current wife had an affair with myself. Uh, yeah, while she was basically, um, she was the fiance to Andy Bernard. But guess what? Andy and me became best friends then, kind of. Kind, kind of. of. What do you mean by kind of, Mr. Shrew? Because then we just stopped hanging out with each other, and basically, Andy was too air and crazy. Aaron crazy. Wouldn't that make you Angela crazy? Uh, you know what? I I think I'm hearing Angela right now. I, I think I might have to dial. Not gonna lie. But you know what? Andy was replaced with guess who? That's my who? best friend. Who? Guess who? who? Derek. What, Derek. Wait. Can you make can you repeat yourself? Daryl became my best friend. Daryl, that sounds like an odd mismatch. Are you sure you're I not know, talking about right? him? I know, right? Daryl was always Andy's best friend. Wait, congrats? Congrats on what? I reached 100 subs, it seems like. Wait, I reached 100 subs? Wait, let me refresh. Oh, shit, you did. Oh, my God. Okay, we got to do a celebration stream. We will do that later. Not now, though. You know what? We'll do it. Uh, you know what? Saturday sounds like a good day, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, Saturday does sound like a good day. Ladies and gentlemen, Saturday will be a 100 subscriber celebration. We, we finally reached it, ladies and gentlemen. Second time. Yeah, right after Zach's stream. I think Zach is streaming on Saturday, isn't it? Twice. Two times, ladies and gentlemen. Two time 100 subscriber. Bringer. Whoa, whoa, we did it. You did it, Austin. You did it. Listen, hard work pays off, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I just wanna I just wanna thank everybody who helped me. I wanna thank Kratos. I wanna thank the tribal chief Roman Reigns. I wanna thank I, I just want to thank uh, Jim's mom as well. I want to thank her. Uh, I want to thank, you know what? I, I would like to thank Chad, my employee, Chad, for come, for helping me. Chad, Chad is a nice guy. You know, Chad and me, where we are starting that universe mode, I don't know when, but it's in when Chad decides to learn his lesson. And actually, you know what? Chad wants to come in for a little bit, and he wants to, uh, he wants, he wants to, he wants to talk to you. Uh, and enjoy it because he has some things he wants to ask. Oh, okay. You know so, what? So I'm gonna leave Ninja real quick. I'm back, back, guys. All right, Nindroid is here. All right, Chad. Let's see what Chad wants, ladies and gentlemen. In the meanwhile, it is my own stream. So what's going on, guys? Nindroid two four three is here to present to you guys, the viewers, another live stream. And today we are talking about. The Austinator. Oh shoot, Chad Chatterson is here. 
Okay. Chad Chatterson, where can they find you at? Um, I'm pretty sure this is my boss's stream. Um, I, I don't know how long he can stay because he's uh, he had to go to the bathroom or something. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know how I would really say it, but he's, he just went to the bathroom. Um, so I just want to so I want to ask you. So you're a fan of Star Wars, right? Yes, yes, I am. Okay, so Star Wars. Um, what do you think of the sequel trilogy? I mean, I I, I, I hate it personally. The trilogy. I absolutely love the sequel trilogy. Okay, why do you love it? One, I grew up with the trilogy. But Two, how did you grow up with the trilogy? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna rephrase that. Okay. Oh, Logan. <laughs> Logan's here. What's up, Logan? Uh, yeah, Logan. Austin, Austin can't be on right now. It's it's basically my show right now until Austin comes back. Now we have on Chad Chatterson. Uh, <clears throat> cool. Just, uh, can I ask you a simple question, Mr. Yeah, sure. uh, 243? Is, yeah. that, is that how you say it? Yes, Ninrod 243. 243. Two, or 243, yes. My question is, what is your problem? What is my problem? The what, sequel what trilogy? What? Why? Okay, sequel trilogy, I have a personal connection to the trilogy itself. Why do you have a, why do you have a personal connection to it? Uh, because, number one, it's like my trilogy. Why okay. is it your trilogy? Because other people grew up with the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy, and basically sequels are mine. All right, and I support them because to me they're really good and they're beyond good. They're really great. They're awesome. All right, and you know what? If you're one of those bad people, or should I say, those people who don't like it, guess what? Respect my opinion, boyo, or so help me. We're going to have an argument. Uh, uh, I, th I think my mom has meatloaf in the oven. Uh, I got to go. Yeah, you better go, you little son of a bitch. All right, let's get It's my show, guys, again. All righty, guys. So let's start up with me. All right, you guys can personally find me on my own YouTube channel, Ninja243, in which, you know, we have some pretty good stuff over there, you know. I guess because Austin's gone, it's my show now. Oh, hey, George. How are you doing? Oh, hello. It's me, George Lucas, the, cr the creator of the Star Wars saga. Um, yes, the saga. Yep. Um, so I heard you're a big Star Wars fan. <clears throat> yes. Yes, I am. Now, did you know that uh, I'm actually the creator of Star Wars? Yeah. Yes, I did, George. Mr. Lucas, yes. Um, now, I, would, it, would it surprise you to know that I actually didn't want to make Star Wars? Oh, I actually knew that. You were planning on a, um, <clears throat> what, what's his name? Howard the Duck multiverse, right? I was going to be the first one to do it, but then you people decided to hate on it. I did not hate it. I actually am one of the few supporters of that film. And yes, Logan, I am the real George Lucas. I mean, like, George, I mean, I loved Howard the Duck. I'm, I'm being serious. I like him more in your film than him in the actual Marvel MCU films. Oh, I don't believe you. Yes, I think you're I just saying it. Oh, no, I actually do. Legit, I'm a Howard the Duck fan. No, I think you're saying that. No, I actually am. I, I actually swear I actually am a Howard the Duck fan. I'm being completely honest. Now, I just would, now, what is your favorite character in Star Wars? My favorite character in Star Wars is Anakin Skywalker, but guess uh, what? Jar Jar is up there. Is Jar Jar your number one? No, Anakin Skywalker, Darth Vader. Yo, your main character of the prequel trilogy and basically the original trilogy it is he is basically the main character fun fact jar jar was going to be the main villain he was actually going to be darth vader he was going to be darth vader 
it wasn't actually going to be Anakin, but then you people decided to hate on Jar Jar. I, I don't hate on Jar Jar. Jar Jar to me was a little bit funny. Jar Jar is my favorite character. And I can see why, because Jar Jar is very great, you know. Jar Jar is Jar Jar is the character that is for me. Jar Jar is God tier, EJ. Thank you. Thank you, a real Star Wars fan. A real Star Wars fan would really like Jar Jar. Yeah. And I would just like oh, to no, say but, Hey look. Mr. Lucas, I'm so sorry that I cut you off, but look. I have Jar Jar soap dispenser. Do you have Jar Jar uh, everything? Yes, I do have a lot of Jar Jar stuff. Everything? Not everything, but I do have a lot of Jar Jar stuff. What is your favorite Star Wars movie? My favorite Star Wars movie is Star Wars Episode Six: Revenge of the Sith. Did you just say Revenge of the Sith Episode I mean, 6? No, 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 Return of the Jedi, sorry. <laughs> Did, did you know with that movie, I actually wanted to make it Gungans instead of Ewoks? Oh my god, I said Revenge of the Sith. Okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Oh my god. And I also heard you like the Disney trilogy. Yeah, the, I like the sequels. Now, you want to know what my like favorite everything. part? You want to know my like favorite everything. part of the trilogy? What? You want to know my favorite part of the trilogy? When it ended? No, when every first... When when it first begins and you see Lucasfilm, that's just another paycheck for me. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So you're getting money even though you did not even make anything besides some of the characters. And you know what's funny? You wanna know you wanna know who I blame for the people hating it? Who do you blame? Everyone. I was actually gonna make a sequel trilogy, but then you hated you you hurt me. I did not dislike the tri I mean, the prequel trilogy. I adore the prequel trilogy. You people hurt me. Number one, Revenge of the Sith, in my opinion, is the best. If you're going to tell me what is Star Wars, what is a film that fully shows what Star Wars is, it's Revenge of the Sith. And you directed and wrote that film. <laughs> you don't know how hard it has been for me, okay? I know, right? Your wife were yo. Know, your wife left you, and you know you had to raise a daughter. You had to bring that up. Yeah, I did. I'm going to. I'm gonna. You have to understand something here. There's personal boundaries. I know, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I'm what, sorry, Mr. Lucas? I'm sorry. I'm, you know how I'm gonna punish you. I'm going to ban you from watching any future Star Wars movie forever. You know what? If I displease George Lucas that much, then yeah, sure. Mr. Lucas, you can do that. Actually, wait a minute. It's a curse to watch all the Disney Star Wars films. So you know what? You can watch them, but you can never watch my stuff ever again. What? No! My favorite movie is yours. Is what? Well, too bad. You can stick with the Disney trilogy. Uh, Mr. Lucas, that's not fair. I'm sorry to say that. Hey, don't talk ba bad to me. I created Star Wars. Okay, Mr. Lucas, I'll respect your wishes. I'm the father of Star Wars. Yes, yes. I, I guess you can call me the daddy of Star Wars. Ha 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 ha. Yes, the daddy of Star Wars. I'm the daddy of Star Wars. Ha 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 ha. Yes, you are. I'm the daddy. Ha 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 ha. You. Ah, uh, man. You, you want to know how I made those films? How did you make those films, buddy? Weed. <laughs> Weed? I thought it was, it was trackable. It was the seventies, you know, me and me and uh, me and Harrison. You 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 know Harrison? Yeah, Harrison Ford. Yeah, we 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 smoke pot together on the weekends. Um, you know, when I told him, you know, hey, Disney was interested. You know, Harrison told me he, while we were smoking weed, he said, "Do it, do it as a joke. Just say sure." Do it. Then, 
then next thing you know, the mouse had me, had a lightsaber to me and told me, no, you, you got it. You got to give me, got to give me your stuff. And I said, no, I don't, I don't want to give up, give it up. And then they said, if you do, we'll give you a Howard the Duck universe like you wanted. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll give you that. And then, you know, it's 2020. Do you think they gave me the Howard the Duck multiverse thing yet? Nope. Instead, they left Endgame happen. It was my ideas. Even though was, your idea was for Howard the Duck to team up with Indiana Jones and the Star Wars franchise, huh? Wasn't it? Yes. Wasn't the Howard the Wasn't there plans of a Howard the Duck sequel trilogy? There were plans. Was there plans of uh, Howard the Duck? Uh, I don't know. Um, maybe Howard the Duck. He was the main character, right? Did he yes. turn into a cyborg? No. Really? That's actually what gave them the idea for Robot Chicken. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, h- how about that cameo you did for South Park? Oh, you know, th- those guys in South Park are always pretty nice to me. You know, we smoked weed afterwards and... Uh, you know, they told me not to sell to Disney, and I said to them, look, you know, they're going to give me the Howard the Duck thing, and then they're like, no, don't do it. You're you're an idiot, George. Don't do it. And I said, you're going to call me an idiot. Don't call me an idiot. And then, huh. you know, I haven't been back since, but, you know, I would love to go, I would love to go back on. Well, Mr. Lucas, um, it was a pleasure of having you on the show. Well, wait a minute. Is this your show? Yes, yes, it is my show now. Um, I I think he's coming back. Hang on. It was nice meeting you. It was very nice meeting you, Mr. Lucas. Now fuck off. Okay. What's up, guys? It's my show again. Ha 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 ha. It's my show. And then Austin just comes in, probably. In three, two, one. No, no, it's Anakin. It's not fair. What's not fair, my boy? They didn't give me the rank of master. Well, that's an argument for you and Kenobi to argue on our new show, Obi-Wan versus Anakin. Wait, is he here? I that son of a bitch know. here? I don't know, buddy. I don't know. Son of a bitch. I don't know. Son of a bitch, Kenobi. Where is he? I think he's on Facebook. You can go attack him on there. All right, I will. All right. All right, guys. Now it's my show again because it's my show. All right, so what's going on, guys? Let's talk about some... You know what? Let's talk about some honey mustard, shall we? Okay, so basically here, the honey mustard. Oh, my God. Now it's Grandpa. Uh, What's up, Mayday, Grandpa? Mayday! Help! Help! Why? What's wrong, Grandpa Simpson? I, I don't know. I don't know why I screamed help. Well, you know what? I can guide you. Go on Discord and go message Ryan Krause, a.k.a. Sour Krause. Wait, what, 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 who? Sauerkraut. He's your grandson. Who? Sauerkraut. What? Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. Who? Sauerkraut. Uh, Rian Roos? I think you're talking about Snurd. Who? Find Snurd. What's a Snurd? A snurd is someone who sniffs lady spikes, according to the Urban Dictionary. What? <laughs> I don't know. All right, it's the Urban Dictionary. All right, so th- don't question the Urban Dictionary. After all, it's all false anyway. What? You know what, Grandpa? Just. 
just just go. Grandpa, please just go. All righty, guys. So it's my show again, all right? And let's wait to see who's coming in now, guys. Probably someone who, you know, probably someone. Because, you know, everyone's coming on here. Not even Austin's going to be coming oh, on. Oh, so you said uh, it's your show, huh? Uh, oh, no, no, I didn't, Austin. Sir, why why do you do this? Austin, I'm, I'm going to just tell you this, all right? See you later! He just left. My God, I just left to go to the bathroom for five minutes. Good lord. Very disappointed. But yeah, um, man, 100 subscribers. Um, wow, that's actually, uh, I don't know how I would say that. I, it's, you know, it's, 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 kind of, it's like a nice feeling, you know? 100 subs. Ne never thought I'd get there. Um, oh, I did hit, get there, and then it ended up not getting there, so... I mean, hey, I'm 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 happy about that in a way. Um, oh, is this going to become sappy now? I I don't want to make this sappy. I really don't like. I really don't want to make this last part of the stream sappy and emotional, and me being like, oh my god, you know, just like I, I don't want to do that stuff. You know, I I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to say thank you in a way that's so kind and genuous. Gen genuous, gen genuous. That that's the way you say it. Um, so I guess I should say thank you to everybody who's helped me get this far. Like you know, like everybody in my description box. I want to thank them. I want to thank Nindroid, Sour, Zach, EJ, Andrew, Deshawn. I want to thank you know, uh, Sienna. I want to thank Emma. I want to thank Heather. I want to thank. Uh, Poe, I want to thank uh, just just a lot. I I want to thank Chris. I want to thank Anzo, JJ, uh, Pixels. I want I want to thank everybody for for helping me get there. It's um very very awesome, you guys. And we got oh we got Oliver Queen in the house. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm getting a thank you from Oliver himself. That's that's awesome. That's great. Thank you, Oliver. I, 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 I'm actually thank you. That it's such an honor for you to be here. Um, but yeah, man, like thank you guys. Now you all are probably wondering, Austin, what are you doing for our 100 subscriber celebration? Are you gonna do like something crazy? Are you gonna jump off a bridge? Are you gonna, are you gonna maybe you know go into like uh, you're gonna do some spikes? Are you gonna do something crazy? You're gonna do backflip onto a are you going to do backflip into lava? Like, Austin, what are you going to do? I'm going to tell you. You know what we're going to do? We're going to play some games. Ooh. We're going to play a bunch of games. Nice. We're, going to, we're going to play uh, We're going to play Jeopardy. We're Ooh. going to play Kahoot. Ooh. We're going to play Wheel of Fortune. Mm. Deal or no deal. Mmm. Uh, the the on um, the game the online versions I I can't I don't have the actual games on me but yeah but we you know we're gonna you're gonna have all that you know we're gonna have maybe we're gonna read some more fan fiction I don't know maybe maybe we'll do some tier lists some bracket fights you know I don't know also we'll I heard um I was talking to Thomas yeah Thomas is free actually when? starting this week oh my god. Oh my God, he's he's actually free. Yeah, he's ladies, actually free. Ladies and gentlemen, I think interesting developments here at the Austin Nader News Network. Thomas is coming. Yes, Thomas is coming. Thomas Indeed. is coming. Thomas, Thomas is coming here to the Austin Nader, and he is here, and he's going to make his own impact here, right on this channel. Yeah, because after all, he does want to get into some newsworthy stuff ladies and gentlemen thomas is in the building no he's not there, there's no building what are you talking about just and then thomas types in the chat if he if, it would be so funny if he actually did he's actually in the building <laughs> yeah 
and Deshaun said congratulations. Thank you, Deshaun. Dude, th th just thank you all. You know, I, I can't thank you guys enough. And by the way, just to let everybody know, you are you are all invited for the 100 subscriber celebration. You are all invited. Yep. Because thank you all so much. Now, as I say my thank yous, I'm going to go grab my computer charger. So I will be right back. All righty, guys. So now this is my show. No, I'm playing around. I'm playing around. This is Austin Nata's so um make sure that you subscribe to this dude i mean uh, um he's a great companion great streamer great friend you know congrats austin does mean a lot um and yeah saturday's gonna be pretty fun not gonna lie Uh, so yeah, I bet Austin's gonna be looking up some Jim's mom scenes probably during Saturday stream because you know he's a simp for Jim's mom. So yeah, guys, I I'm telling you guys the truth. He's a simp. We all know that it's been confirmed. He's a simp. So yeah. You know. Um, you guys can uh go check out Austin on Twitter. Also, um, but yeah, how is the chat? How are you guys? Arrow, nice to meet you, um, Mr. Oliver Queen. Um, we have Deshaun in the chat, EJ. Uh, we have five viewers watching. I want to thank the five viewers for Austin's show. Um, yeah, you know. And now we just reached over 100 minutes also. So that that's fun. Um, so yeah, um, so I'm just waiting until Austin comes back after Daniel's charger, um, yes, the game awards were whacked, yeah, that's why I heard also, Logan, what a conflict. <laughs> Yes, it's an Android show. No, it's not my show. No, I, I said it though many times it was. Um, but yeah, you know. Uh, oh, you love the Howard the Duck movie, Deshaun? Well, th that's interesting. You know, not a lot of people do, but I actually love the Howard the Duck film. I basically for comedic reasonings. Um, it's a good comedy. Not gonna lie. You know. Um, so yeah, um, let's talk about some honey mustard again, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm back. Oh, we were going to talk about honey mustard. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about honey mustard then. <laughs> okay, so here's a pack of honey mustard, guys. From KFC. KFC honey mustard. Yes. You know, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm actually not a huge fan of honey mustard. Really? I prefer the plain yellow and spicy mustard. Otherwise, it's a no-go. Oh, that's interesting. A lot of people actually like honey mustard. I'm not I like... like we, I'm not a sweet guy, you know what I mean? Like, unless it's like, uh, like I, I like sweets, but like a sauce though, like that's not my thing. Like I'm more of a savory guy. Yeah, like that's why I don't like tomatoes. You don't? Well, actually, in whole honesty, I don't like tomatoes either. They're not bad, but if I had the option, I wouldn't choose it. It's just too sweet, in my opinion. I mean, like I like ketchup, but I just don't like the tomatoes. It's weird. I, mean, I know. 
<laughs> if I had to eat a tomato, I'd be like, oh, okay. But if I had the option, I'd be like, nah, not a huge fan. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't mind tomatoes at all. Uh, man, now we're just talking about food. I will uh, say, though, pie is a little bit too sweet. It just determines which pie it is. I'm a huge apple pie guy because I'm American. I'm a huge cherry pie guy. That, wait a minute. Wait, which kind of cherry pie are we talking about? Oh, cherry pie. Uh, actual cherry pie or yes, like, actual cherry pie, Austin. Actual uh, cherry pie. I'm not cherry pie. I'm not. I like. I don't like any other pie besides apple pie. I thought you liked cherry pie. Mm, no. Cherry pie is just not that good. Uh, yeah. Okay. I guess you just don't like cherry pie. I, yeah, I really don't. Hmm. I just, I, I don't know what it is, but I just am not a fan of, it's just not that good. It's just, I'm not a huge pie guy. Like, I don't know if it's just because it's like the filling and the texture, but if we're prefer- being serious, I'm not a huge pie guy either. Like, I'll basically just eat, like, a apple pie, but that's about it. I like apples sometimes. Pumpkin, well, here's the thing with pies. I do like the crust. Mm, yeah, I do, that's too. It. That's it. That's really it. Just the crust at the end. That's That's really it. Also, I got some news. Oh, really? Yeah, you remember that Monster Hunter movie that was supposed to come out? From You know the guys who made uh, uh, the Resident Evil movies, Paul W.S. Anderson? Yeah, the movie just came out. Like, d- Didn't it come out online or something like that? I don't know, and I heard it's trash. Well, let's watch the film and review it, I guess. <laughs> I don't want to. All right, then Austin doesn't want to. If it has anything to do with Paul W.S. Anderson, no thank yeah. you. Um, but yeah, guys. Oh, uh, 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 Arrow, Oliver Queen, my boy, says strawberry rhubarb. Hmm. Oh, strawberry? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I'm, I'm not necessarily, <laughs> again, like I'm not necessarily the biggest pie guy, but, eh, but, but, you know, hey, that's a good choice. I like that. I like cherry pie. Oh, uh, what, what, what pie are you talking about? What kind of cherry pie are we talking about here? Are I'm we talking, talking about, about cherry pie. Cherry pie. Oh, cherry pie is good, you know. Oh, well, actually, no, it's not that good, to be quite honest. I'm not a huge fan of the filling, but, you know. Uh, cake, she says, I don't like pie. <laughs> Same here. You know, I'm a cake guy. I don't really like pie, you know. Um, yeah, well, here's the thing. Even cake, I'm not a huge. I'm a fan of ice cream cake. Ice cream cake. Yeah. I like. Come on. I like cake. ice cream, but ice cream cake, I do not like either. You don't like ice cream cake? No. You don't like ice cream cake? What? 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 And I'm gonna tell you something. I do not like whipped cream. You know what? That's reasonable. Whipped creams. The texture is so. Ah. Uh, it's. Like, it's too thick. Like, it's triple C's thick. Like, that's how thick it is. It's just, ugh. 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 Um, Just, ew. It, It has, like, the texture of shaving cream. And sometimes it's in, like, those little aerosol cans. Yeah. It makes it look like shaving cream cans. I don't I, I don't prefer that. It's just ugh. Here's some sad news. The Boba Fett actor in the original trilogy died. Oh, I heard about that. Damn. On Twitter. Yeah. The original one, not Morrison. Damn. That was which- I'm going to be honest with you. I hate that. I kind of hate that they replaced his voice now. Yeah. In the original trilogy with the special edition, but it's it's fine. 
you know, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, uh, yeah, that that I just wanted to get serious a little bit with that. But yeah, we can go back to joking around now. Um, uh, what else can we really joke about? Because we're only gonna go two hours here. Uh, cherry pie, guys. Just just cherry pie. Cherry pie. Hmm. Oh my god. Sean says, "I love some whip." Uh, you, you, that's great, Deshaun. I, uh, <laughs> that's great, man. <laughs> that's great, Deshaun. Great. <laughs> that's great, Deshaun. We did not need to know that. Like, that was so awkward the way I did it. I was like, that's great, Deshaun. <laughs> that's and great. I know you can't see me behind my profile picture. I gave, like, that awkward thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's... Great, Deshaun. You That's know what I was thinking? Great. No, maybe no. I'll do, maybe I'll do like a special, like more. I'll do like a special gaming stream tonight for hitting a hundred subs. Oh, all right. You know what? I might, I might do another Mortal Kombat stream. Are you going to show your face during the one hundred subscriber celebration? Don't ask questions. Hey, look, I'm just asking. He's asking too that much. He's asking too much. Hey, I'm just saying, you said you would show your face on special occasion streams. Uh, I might show it briefly. Ooh, interesting. If you I guys have seen back. Austin's face, in which I bet you all have seen it, because number one, Galactic Chat Season 9. I mean, Season Galactic 9? We didn't get that far yet. <laughs> Galactic Chat Season 1, Episode 9. And also, like, episode four, I'm pretty sure you also did it at one point. I Yeah, I did it twice on your channel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you did. Um, I don't know about Hanzo's or whatever, but... Um, no. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm fully disguised. Yes, yes, you are with Kratos. Yeah, because Kratos is my homeboy. Mm-hmm. We, we, lo we love Kratos here. You want to know why? Because Kratos is a badass. Mm, okay. What was that? Mm, okay. Mm, okay. And you know what, Ninja? I want to say this here. God yeah. of War is better than Jedi Fallen Order. You know what? Okay, though, I don't really care. Well, I mean, because you're right. because I know you love Star Wars, so I thought you were gonna give me the oh, you don't oh. Uh, number one, I don't act like that. I don't care. I think I thought the twist was gonna be the second second off. How dare you? You know what? How dare you? <laughs> I'm playing around. Deshaun's like, shit, I, for I forgot I had to do watch party. Oh, that's all right, Deshaun. You know, it happens. We all do watch parties. Also, t also, it's kind of like me today. I forgot I even had the stream tonight. Wait, you actually forgot? <laughs> no, actually, that was a joke. See, I had to go out with my dad because we were getting dinner stuff, and then we got stuck in uh, – we actually got trapped in a bunch of snow mounds. Now, you see, now, where I am, the snow was – Snow, like, I had to shovel this morning for my grandfather. Oh, we had to shovel as well. You know, it was, it took forever. But, you so know, what? at the end, it was all good. And we had a fun sh fun stream at yep. 6.45. Or, no, 6, no, it was 6.50, and we're still going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And lo like, look at us. So we can just talk all the time, even if it's just a rambling bullshit. Yep, let's ramble some bullshit, ladies and gentlemen, boys. Yeah, let's, and let's girls. ramble some bullshit for the next seven, six minutes. All right. So, so how about them? Uh, so, how about Jim's mom, huh? Yeah, Jim's mom is a hottie. Hey, hands off. Nah, 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 nah. See, I, I already said I, I already said I like Jim's mom first. 
No. This is how it works. She's mine, and they... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Of which we never even got done troll hunters as a group. Well, whose fault was that? It was my fault. Sounds about right. Ninja, we didn't even finish season 13 of Ninjago. That was awesome. Well, no, that was that was mostly everyone's fault. You wanted us to finish Troll Hunt. You wanted us to watch Troll Hunters first. And I'm like, no, Ninja, we got to finish Ninjago season 13. And you're like, no, no, no. Let's watch one episode of Troll Hunters. And we got to watch one episode of Death Note. Then we'll watch one episode of Ninjago. Then we <laughs> forgot all about Ninjago. Then we started watching Troll Hunters. We got up to, to halfway to season two. And then you're like, no, no, no. Let's watch Riverdale. And then we're both. And then I'm like, no, Ninja, we got to finish. We got to finish this. You know what? <laughs> We're halfway through season two, and then you're like, no, 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 we got to start Riverdale. I'm like, no, I, I want to watch, no, I want to watch Troll Hunters. I want to watch more of Jim's mom. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right with me. I'm I'll like, Ninja, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, Ninja, what are you doing? Come on. <laughs> it's like we're just switching shows all the time. It's like next thing you know, we like we're only halfway to Riverdale, so you do okay, guys. I got something else we can watch. I'm like, Ninja, we're watching season two right now. Like, no, 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 that will probably happen. And then you're gonna be like, we're gonna but, watch. No, movies. no, but no, but here's the thing. That's when you guys are actually kind of interested in Riverdale, and then I'm like, no, 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 we gotta stop right here. And then I'm like, Ninja. We got to finish this. You're like, no, 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 no. We got to finish. Let's watch this. I'm like, no. Hey, I'm the one who's been saying we got to finish Riverdale season one. We still have to finish Riverdale. We got to finish season 13 of Ninjago. We still got to finish the entire series of Arcadia. We got to finish uh, If Fans Are Butts. We got to finish. Yeah, we have a lot of shows to watch. And you know what? That can be Christmas break. My God, that's a lot. Well, I bet we can get done the first season of Riverdale. Well, I bet we can finish Riverdale during Christmas break. But I, I want to finish Troll Hunters. I also want to finish Troll Hunters. But now that we're in halfway of Riverdale, now we have to finish at least season one. Hey, we were halfway of, of uh, Troll Hunters first. I know, right? <laughs> I think it's only fair. Nah, Riverdale first. Now, hang on a minute. Just so we can cover season five when it comes out. Oh, I, do we have to? Yeah, because you agreed upon season four. Hold on a minute. I didn't. Con uh, hang on. I didn't agree on anything. You were just like, no. All I right. can pull up the stream, boy. Do you There's remember? You were like, well, it would be kind of funny. I didn't. I didn't sign anything. Hmm. Now I have to oh, find. That's it. I want to say in the chat. Three minute warning. There's no proof, and also it has to be in writing for it to make even. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny here. Wait, let me quickly share my screen. This has been like one of the best just solo videos I did. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute it because I'm not getting copyrighted. No, 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 no. I'm not. I even muted it. And here's the reason why. I have 86 views on here. I can't believe I have 86 views. Four likes and one dislike. You know what? So is this your reaction to the season five trailer? Yeah. Inception. We're watching we're watching his video on my thing. And I'm going to provide commentary on it since it's muted. Oh, wait, no, Ninja, go! What's going on, you guys? Ninjoy243 is here to present you guys another video. And today, 
we're talking about Riverdale, my next favorite thing beside the Star Wars. Now, for those of you that uh, don't no. know, oh, you are wrong about the first that. season is the best thing ever. So is season two and season three. Season four is my is probably the greatest thing on God's green earth. It is no. the greatest, <laughs> greatest season. No. Season four is complete garbage. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, oh, wait, hang on, EJ is the comment. You guys want to know how I do my tribute videos? Basically, what I do is I screen capture any kind of clips I want to use for my particular tribute video. Anyways, I just recorded like 12, 20 minute long clips of some Darth Maul scenes that I record on YouTube. Then I break the 12, 20 minutes to four or five minute videos to fit a particular song. Hmm. That's actually pretty interesting. I, I've never actually done any of that before because mainly I'm a stream guy. So. Yeah, I'm well, not. tribute videos are fun to make sometimes. They are, yeah. You just I think can't just, overdo it. It also depends on the character and the music you use. Mm hmm. Yep. Now, with that being said, though, guys, we are going to wrap it up. I want to thank everybody who came in the chat. I want to thank Deshaun, EJ. I want to thank Emma. I saw Sienna in the chat. I apologize for not getting to you. I want to thank Logan, Kavari. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. We missed everybody. Dude, I'm sorry. Okay. We were busy reading uh, fanfics. Okay. I am so sorry. Okay. Um, so I want to thank everybody who came in the chat. I am sorry. I will uh, definitely, for the 100 subscriber celebration, I will get to everybody in the chat. I promise. Heather as well. I want to thank everybody. Um. I'm going to let everybody go around the panel one more time, tell everybody where they can find themselves at. We'll start with Ninjroid. Where can they find you at? Uh, you guys can personally find me on my own YouTube channel, Ninjroid243, where tomorrow we will be reviewing the season finale of River... I mean, no, not Riverdale. Oh, my God. The, the whole Riverdale talk is getting me confused. Sorry. Mandalorian season two. In which that's going to be a very interesting finale. Um, it's coming out uh, exactly tomorrow at 3 a.m. So that's very interesting to know. Um, also, you guys can um, see so yeah, in Galactic Chat, we're going to talk about it. And also, we're going to be honoring uh, all the films that came out on December. Uh, that's going to be very fun to do. And also, Galactic Chat. Uh, the the season finale is actually going to be on Christmas. I did not even know that. Wait, Christmas? Did, yeah, yeah. Did you actually check the calendar? It's every single Friday, Galactic Chat. Christmas is on a Friday. Oh, uh, then I don't know if I'm going to be on it. Then. I, I know, I know. We might actually have to post it to the 24th. Maybe we'll do a christmas eve special maybe because my plan is christmas we're not doing anything then the 26th we'll review river i meant not riverdale wonder woman 1984 which i'm probably not going to be on that stream because i'm not getting hbo max and uh yeah that's basically my plan for that you guys can also find me on Twitter and on Austin streams. Yes. Yeah, that's indeed. really it. And you guys can personally find me on this channel right here. We just hit 100 subscribers for the second time. Um, it is definitely awesome, guys. Thank you. I'm actually going to be doing a special 100 subscriber game stream tonight with Mortal Kombat. So go check that out when I do it. Um, and then Saturday, I'm doing a special 100 subscriber special. It's going to be like a party type. We're going to play a bunch of games. We're going to do a bunch of crazy stuff. That's going to be great. And also, you can find me everywhere. Um, you can find me on Sundays on the Real Review 3000 Chris Knight's channel, whether it's part of the weekly wrap up or the weekly rum or uh, the Mandalorian roundtable and the weekly wrap up. Or my God, the weekly rumble. My God, I'm sorry. Sometimes you can find me on Mondays on JJ, a.k.a. Sith Lord's channel, where I am sometimes part of randomness at its finest. And you can sometimes find me on Anzo's channel, Big Afford Entertainment, where if where they do the, when they do their gaming streams, it's always fun to watch them compete and have Anzo talk trash and 
all that fun stuff. And also, if you guys are bored and you're waiting for somebody to stream, go to Pixelate, LDG Pixels channel, where sometimes it's a lot better than watching paint dry. And also, if you have computer problems, go to just check out LDG's channel. I'm, I got his link in the description. And also, I got two new channels. I got uh, Poe and the Big O Show's channels in the description. So for them, you know, they're up-and-coming YouTubers. Let's get them up to their subscriber goals. And <coughs> also, you can find Ninjoid, Sour Krause's, Zach, Zach Axiola's, EJ Tan's, Andrew Casale's, Deshaun Wiggins' channels on in the description as well. Um, and also, I have a Twitter at the Austin Air 17. So if you ever want to message me there, message me there. Also, I have Discord. So if you guys want to hit me up there, you can do that as well at the Austinator. And with that being said, though, guys, yeah, that about does it. Uh, Kavari says, good stream, guys. Congrats. Thank you, Kavari. I appreciate it, man. Um, but yeah, guys, with that being said. I will, EJ. I showed you the mask. I will. Oh, D.D. Myers is here. What's up, D.D.? Uh, we, we're actually just going to wrap up tonight, uh, but uh, I am going to be doing a stream later, D.D. If you guys, if anybody in the chat wants to go check out the game stream out, you guys definitely can. Uh, but yeah, though, guys, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. This is the Austinator and Ninjoid signing out. See you later, guys.